Hello everyone, thank you for joining us this Wednesday morning and welcome to this educational presentation of Trading with a Purpose. Now I'd like to start off with something that my own mentors taught me some 42 years ago and I remember them saying to me, Steve, the purpose of trading is to trade with a purpose. And at that time it really didn't make much sense to me. But then I started thinking about it, the more I started learning, I realized that all my decisions were just basically, uh, you know, uh, based and uh, decided upon like the mercy of the wind. I uh, would see something go up, so I'd jump on board. I'd see something go down, I'd immediately sell it. But there was no real purpose or no real structure to my trading. And as I started to learn more and more about what my mentors taught me, I started to see that most traders actually trade this way. And I feel this is one of the reasons why the majority of all traders fail. Well, in today's presentation, I'm going to share with you a very simple but consistent way in which to trade with a purpose. Now, for example, looking at this older chart here in EW, someone looking at this would say, once again, no real movement in this. There's actually just a range market. So the chat room I go to says to stay away from range markets, and that's why I shouldn't be trading this. Well, with the structure I'm going to be giving you today, you would have actually identified a valid buy signal right here. Then it would have been confirmed with the help of another tool. And ultimately, you could have potentially captured 18 points in one week. And that exit point is where you would have had an actual level to exit. So all of this is going to be included in today's presentation. So you're going to see how simple it is to follow through with this structure and with this trading plan in the PTS Primo charting platform. This is the educational platform that actually teaches you how to trade with a purpose. So this promises to be a great educational presentation today. Thanks for taking time out of your Wednesday to join us. My name, once again, is Stephen Primo. I'm the president and founder of Specialist Trading. And I started out my career actually just based on trading stocks. I started, I started trading on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange in the 70s. I've been actually trading for a total of 42 years, but 16 of those years I was on the floor, and nine of those years I was on the floor, I was a specialist. That's where we get the name Specialist Trading. Specialist is someone who makes markets and stocks. If you ever look at those old pictures where the guys screaming and yelling and waving their hands up in the air with a bunch of paper on the floor. Well, that's what I did for nine years. I traded through the crash of 87 and the bull market that followed. So I've traded just about everything you can think of, every system, every technique. I've traded just about every environment. So in 42 years, I know what works in terms of consistency and I know what doesn't. So there's really no need to waste your time chasing and searching for that holy grail and most especially spending your hard-earned money on things that really don't work. I can shorten your learning curve by sharing and teaching you things that have stood the test of time because once again, we are an educational company. That's first and foremost, our only goal is simply to educate you so that you can put the power back in your own hands and make your own trading decisions with a purpose. Now, before we begin, as always, we are first required to share this to you, so please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to share with you a lot of performance results using today's uh, structure to trade with a purpose, but please remember that all the performance results I'm about to share with you will, uh, there is no guarantee that they will be repeated in the future, so please remember that all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. Also, we have a pretty good crowd here today, so I'm inviting each and every one of you, if you haven't done so already, to follow us on Twitter. There's our handle right there. I would suggest copying that down because we post a lot of great information on a daily basis, a lot of free education, anywhere from signals our strategies have generated to little bits of financial wisdom. So lots of great free education. Feel free to follow us on Twitter. I remember, as I stated in the opening uh, statements, we are different from other webinars you may have attended if you're new to my presentations, and the fact that we are, first and foremost, an educational company. That is our only purpose, simply to educate you. We're not here, in other words, if you're looking for uh, someone to uh, tell you what to buy or what to sell or tell you what the perfect market is or instruct you on what the best time frame is, you've really come to the wrong place because uh, that actually goes against everything we teach at Specialist Trading. Our goal is simply to provide you with things that have stood the test of time in any market, in any time frame, and in any direction, and then work with you so that you can ultimately decide. All of our strategies and te techniques come with upwards of six or seven different entry points, six or seven different exit points, as well as stop placement. So it's up to you to choose which one feels the best for you. But we provide all this for you, and we work with you so that you can ultimately feel comfortable and make your own decision. This in my 42 years of trading is the only way one becomes 
a consistent trader. This is the way I was taught, and I really feel the cornerstone to allowing me to trade for over four decades now. So hopefully it will be able to do the same for you. Now, this is going to be a, a pretty uh, descriptive presentation today. I have a lot of slides to share with you, I believe about 150. So if you have a question, please wait till the end of today's class. I promise I'll get to each and every one of them. But if we stop for every slide, these 150 slides I have, uh, we'll be here for about the next three or four hours. I don't want to take up your entire Wednesday. The only question I will answer is the most common, and that is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. So if you have to leave early or if you're having technical issues with the uh, presentation, don't worry. We will send each and every one of you a link to this recording. So we have a good crowd here today. If you happen to join us later, please wait till the end to ask any questions. All right. With that stated, let us begin today's educational presentation. Now, in order to talk about how to trade with a purpose, I think the best way to describe it or for you to learn is actually uh, to tell you how not to trade with a purpose. Because I would venture to say that the majority of you right now say to yourself, well, no, I, Steve, I trade with a purpose. I have a plan. I have a certain way in which I do things. But that's, remember, that could be just a plan. It doesn't mean you have a purpose to your trading. So let me describe what it is that is not trading with a purpose. If you go to a nightly signal, signal service to find out what to buy or what to sell, that is not trading with a purpose. If you repeatedly go to chat rooms or trading rooms to find out what everyone else likes or what the, the big new uh, interest in is in uh, you know, the moderator, what he's talking about and where he's projecting something should go, that's not trading with a purpose. Or if you wait with bated breath for every news announcement, for every earnings, for every economic report, that is not trading with a purpose. And then lastly, if you watch the pundits on TV, the so-called trading gurus, nightly to find out what they like and what they're buying and what you should buy, that is not trading with a purpose. You see, each and every one of those categories basically did the same thing. They took you out of the game. Basically, what you're doing is giving your power away to these sources so that they can make your trading decisions for you. And if you allow someone or something else to make your trading decisions for you, you are not trading with a purpose. You are basically just letting someone do the work for you and you're blindly going along with it. And this is why, in my opinion, 80 to 85 percent of all traders fail because you're basically taking yourself out of the game. All right. You, it, this is no different than a, a surgeon, a brain surgeon in the middle of an operation asking uh, the nurse, what do you think I should do now? Or tell me what your opinion is and how I, I should operate on this, uh, you know, this person. Or no different from a captain right up in the air, up at 40,000 feet, uh, asking all of the passengers, how do you think I should land this? Or how do you think I should fly this? I mean, that's silly. That would be flying without a purpose. That would be conducting a, uh, an operation if you were a surgeon without a purpose. You have to know what you're going to do prior to the actual trade. That is what trading with a purpose is. So in all actuality, there are only two things you need in order to trade with a purpose. In order to trade with a purpose, you need one, a consistent trading plan that's based on market behavior. And you notice here, I said a consistent. I didn't say a trading plan that never loses or a trading plan that has shown a 99.9% .9 positive results going back 10 years of back testing. No, we just mean consistent, okay? Now, strategy four is probably our most consistent strategy to date. I've talked about this in the past before, it's probably the first strategy I was taught. Uh, trust me, if you are trading right now, regardless if you've been trading for five minutes or 50 years, everyone gets the same basic format. It's for all traders, from beginners to advanced. So there's no need to think, well, Steve, I haven't been trading long enough. I don't have enough education. I don't know how to trade these advanced things. It does not matter. Everyone will get the same basic format. Now, this method is designed to catch momentum moves. We're looking to catch momentum. Now, it's intensity level. If one was a very intense, extremely intense strategy where you couldn't leave your computer, and three was a very relaxed, it's a very moderate number two level, okay? Reason why, it only uses one indicator. That's how simple this method is. It can be applied to any time frame, any direction, and any market. Now, today, I'm going to focus mainly on stocks, but it would not matter if you traded e mini futures. It would not matter if you traded Bitcoin. It would not matter if you trade currency pairs. It would not matter if you were a swing trader or it would not matter if you trade tick charts. It makes absolutely no difference. 
Now, if you're a member of this course, automatic, uh, or I should say members receive automatic buy and sell arrows, but they're there for educational purposes only. Now, when I said consistency, most people have the wrong definition of what they think consistency is. They think consistency means that you have a method that never fails or has a, a large number of winners. That's not what consistency means. Consistency means that you are aware that you will have losses from time to time. But a consistent method is one in which it's able to recoup those losses. Therefore, you have a two-step forward, one-step back approach. So that's what you're looking for because consistency is what will sustain you. See, I don't want to teach you a method that worked fantastic in 2018, but in 2019, it's giving all the profits back. That's not what type of a mentor would I be if I taught you something that worked well for a little bit, but then went into the hole for the, you know, the next couple of trades. That's not consistency. Consistency is a two step forward, one step back approach. That is what will sustain you. And strategy four is an extremely consistent method. But remember, once again, consistency means that there will be losses from time to time. Now, in order to trade with a purpose, we need a consistent trading plan. But the other thing we need in order to trade with a purpose is a tool that will filter out some of those bad trades from time to time. So we'll filter out the bad from the good ones. Now, we know that nothing can filter out 100%. That's just silly because that means you'd never lose. And, and that's silly. All traders lose. Don't ever let anyone tell you that. But if you can filter out some of the losses, well, then you've even made your consistency that much higher. So what is the tool that filters out the bad trades from the good ones? It's the pet D, something else you've heard me talk about on a consistent basis here at Specialist Trade. Let's look at this uh, older chart in Adna. Now, once again, how can we use the pet D? Well, basically, the pet D is a short-term trend identifier, but really, that just describes what it does. What it is is a translator. It translates what the market wants to do on the short term. And in it, for Example, in this case, most people would say, well, okay, we're going higher, but then this happened. Is there something that could have given us a little, at least a little bit better warning that we were going to turn and go downward? Well, even though it's not designed to pick the bottom or top, if you click on the pet D on our platform, the colors automatically change. And if you see a series of green bars, you know that you're in a short-term uptrend. A series of red bars means you're in a short-term downtrend. So, once again, you would have known well in advance back here that Aetna was going higher. And at this point, you would have known well in advance right here that it wanted to go lower. See, but most times traders do the opposite. They, they see that, okay, this is going up. That guy in the chat room likes this, so I'll buy this right here. And the minute they buy it, what happens? It starts to go down. They buy some more until ultimately they say, you know what? I'm going to sell everything at a loss here. All right? Now, the beauty of the Petty is that it tells you which direction you should be trading. And once you know, you can confirm if your strategy is in sync. So when we combine these two things, we have what we call our dynamic duo, our most consistent package to date at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies. Let me share with you how it works, and I'll share with you the simple process. Let's look, look at this chart here in STNA, all right? Someone looking at this would say, well, we're rolling over. It looks like we're going straight down. I don't want to touch this. But what if I told you that this was actually a high probability area to buy? All you have to do is click on strategy four to check your work because we teach you what to look for and click on signal arrows. And guess what? You were right. If you had taken the course material and studied it, you would have noticed that there was a buy set up here and you would have checked by clicking on the signal arrows to verify if it was a valid signal. And, and for all intents and purposes, it was. There's an upward green arrow. But what if you want to confirm that? Remember, we want to filter out the bad trades from the good as much as we can, because we know that not every trade is going to be a winner. Well, the way you do that is on our platform, you click on Pet D, and automatically the colors change. And all you want to see is wherever that green arrow is, the bar above it is outlined or colored green. It does not matter what the bar before it was or even the previous bars. All that matters is that that bar is confirming the buy setup. If you have this in place, this is our dynamic dual high probability setup. So it would be suggested that that's a high probability trade to take if you wanted to. And the stock went up 14 points in two weeks. OK, you see how this works? It's that simple. So the first thing you want to do is on your own, identify a strategy for setup whether it's a buy or a sell, regardless if it's an intraday or if it's a swing trade or an investment. It makes no difference. 
Once you've learned how to properly identify it on our platform, you confirm it just uh, uh, clicking on the drop down menu and clicking on signal arrows. And if there's an arrow be below that, then you properly identified a signal. Now you want to uh, confirm it with the pet D. You simply click on the pet D and if it's a buy signal, that bar should be outlined or colored green. If it's a sell signal, that uh, downward arrow sh uh, bar should be colored or outlined red. That's how simple it is. And then you have a high probability setup. Now you are trading with a purpose. Now you have some structure rather than just saying, well, these guys in the chat room really love it. Or uh, that $10,000 class I took about the institutions, uh, according to this, they're buying. So I guess I should be buying. I mean, that's silly. None of these things show high levels of consistency. Consistency comes from the chart in front of you. Remember, all we are doing is listening to the market. Strategy 4 is based off a pattern that occurs over and over again in all markets and time frames. The pet D is simply a translator. It doesn't predict how high something goes or how low something goes. It simply translates what the market wants to do on a tick by tick basis. When you combine these two, you have a really high synergy for success and consistency. Okay, so let's look at some more dynamic dual examples so you can understand the format and see how simple it will be to actually, uh, you know, uh, apply this by using our platform because we specifically designed it to make it simple for it. Okay, here's an older chart in uh, QURE, all right? Looks like it's going higher, but not enough to tell here. But according to your studies, you think there is an actual buy setup here, all right? Right here, it should meet the pattern. So you check with strategy four, you click it on and click on signal arrows, and guess what? It verified it. You properly identified a strategy number four buy signal. But we know that all signals are going to be uh, consistent. So we want to confirm it with a pet D. So we click on the pet D and automatically it changes the colors. So it's a green outline, meaning that it's an up day and it's outlined green. So the pet D is confirming it. So you can take this trade if you want. Remember, it's up to you. You are in charge of your decision making. Not us, not some guy in a chat room, not some guy in a TV, not some institution, not some, uh, you know, overbought, oversold indicator. You, you are making your own decisions. And if you had taken this trade, well, guess what? 33 points in the next month or two. That would have been a nice little trade to take. How about FIZZ, all right? Someone looking at this would say, Steve, I'm only looking at a couple of weeks worth of uh, uh, data here. I can't come up with a plan. Plus, it's just in a range sideways market. Well, according to strategy four, you could have properly identified a sell signal. Click on the signal arrows and it's been confirmed right here. That's a sell signal, but you want to confirm it with the pet D. You want the translator to confirm it. So you click on the pet D and guess what? There's another signal that we didn't know about. Now you want to confirm both of these and you have two red bars underneath those arrows. So this is a valid dynamic duo setup. You have two setups to take and they're both colored red. Stock fell 23 points in the next couple of weeks. All right. There's nothing we looked at in terms of volume. There's nothing we looked at in terms of overbought, oversold tools. There's nothing we looked at in terms of economics or fundamental news such as earnings reports. We don't focus on those things at all. In fact, I stopped looking at news or fundamental information and volume and institutions roughly four decades ago. And I'm still here. So if it works for me, it should be able to work for you. There's no reason to overcomplicate your trading. All right, here's another example in Apple. And this is how finely tuned our methods are. For example, right here, you think there should be a buy setup according to the rules of strategy four. Okay. So you click on signal arrows. And yes, there was. There's a green arrow right here. Now, if you want the confidence, and the validation of the pet D you would simply click on the pet D and the bar is automatically changed. Now, in order to be a valid confirmed buy signal, you would need that bar to be outlined green. So what outline is it? It's red. So we're not going to take this trade because it doesn't have a high probability for us. So we hold off and on, we're not going to take the trade. And on the very next bar, we have another buy signal. This time it is confirmed. It's outlined green. So that one you would take. Now, most traders say, Steve, how can I take this one? I should have bought this one down here. This was a better price. Now you're expecting me to buy higher. Remember, as a trader, when your ego gets in the way, you start to fear and doubt and second guess 
And that's where you start to have trouble. Just listen to the market. The market is telling you it wants to go higher now. A bar before, it didn't know it wanted to go higher, but now it does. So that's all that matters. Don't let your thinking get in the way. And you still could have captured potentially upwards of 17 points in the next week or so. So remember, the pet D and strategy number four are not designed. In fact, none of our tools and methods are designed to buy at the bottom or sell at the top. All we're trying to do is add consistency to your trading. Let's look at the letter G here. Now, here's a great example of how sometimes the pet D can actually keep you out of trades. We had a real strong downward move, and now we're starting to bounce. But for all intents and purposes, this may be just a pullback. All right, and you think that you've spotted a couple of sell signals right here. So you check your work, and yes, these are valid strategy number four sell signals. Now normally, you would just take them and say, wow, this is gonna be a great trade. Two sell signals probably gonna come all the way down here. I'm gonna make some good money. But this is how the pet D, the translator, can help you. Is the pet D translating that the market wants to go lower? Well, click on the pet D, and as you can see here, it didn't work. But if we clicked on the pet D, it would have told us in advance not to take this trade because both of these sell signals needed to be colored red if we were going to take them. And what color are they? They're both colored green. So that's telling you that even though the pattern is suggesting that the market wants to go lower, the translator for the short-term trend is saying, no, the trend still wants to go up. I wouldn't take this sell signal. So you want to see these both in sync with each other. And they were out of sync. So the odds are that it wouldn't work and it didn't. And as my mentors taught me, some of the best trades are the ones you never take because you didn't lose anything. And you have this added confidence that your method, your structure, your uh, trading with a purpose is working for you. All right, now we have two more sell signals. This was in JBHT. This was just about uh, three weeks ago. Two sell signals, okay? Just like the last one. Now, how do we know these ones are gonna work? Well, no one knows for certain if anything's ever gonna work but you can have a high level of consistency by adding the pet D. Now look at the first signal. The first signal was a sell, but it was colored and outlined green. And if you would have gone short, look what happened the very next day. You may have scared yourself and said, oh gosh, I'm just gonna get out. This is not gonna work. All the colors are green, so I didn't know that. So you would, most likely would have stopped yourself out with a loss. So we never would have taken this trade, but two days later, we had a valid dynamic duo setup because it was it met all the requirements of the strategy and it was colored red. So this is the one you would have taken, not the first one, and 11 points in one week coming into the beginning of June. Here's another example in Mountain MTN. Once again, looks like we're absolutely going nowhere in a range market. A lot of traders would say, well, Steve, I took this class and this, this is resistance. This is where all the institutions want to sell. So I don't really want to buy this. Most likely if they're selling, I want to be a seller, right? Trust me, I traded with the institutions. I actually had a relationship with them, talked to them when I worked on the floor because I was making markets in my book and they would give me orders of 500,000, a million, five million to buy or sell. And if someone based their trading off their, uh, you know, their orders, most likely they would have lost a lot of money because it was my experience that the institutions were, they had no consistency at all. They were a lot of times wrong. And then also many times they would cancel orders. So where you thought maybe they initially had some resistance there, that order had been canceled maybe days earlier. So it's silly to base your decisions off of someone or something else, whether it's an indicator, whether it's a guy in a chat room, or whether it's the big institutions. Just listen to what the market's telling you. So we don't concern ourselves with resistance, especially trading and pro trader strategies. You know, one trader's resistance is another trader's support. It's too subjective. We want to just have things that are cut and dry. Now, according to the requirements of strategy number four, they are very cut and dry. All you're looking for is a specific pattern, which was identified right here. So you would have seen that there was a buy signal on this last bar. In order to check your work, remember, this is an educational platform. You click on strategy number four tab. In the drop-down menu, click on signal arrows to check your work. And you were right. That's a valid strategy number four buy setup. So who cares if there's so-called resistance or who cares if the market's going sideways? The market is generating a pattern that is shown to, to, sell that it, uh, to tell that it wants to go higher. Now, we want to verify this with the pet D because we know that not all strategy four signals are all, always going to be consistent. So we click on the pet D tab. 
the colors change, and yes, the bar above the arrow is outlined green. So this is a high probability setup. It, now, the last stage is for you to take it or not. Remember, this is not a system. You do not have to take it if you don't want to, because there are signals like these been generated dozens of times each day. But it would have been a wise decision because the market went up 16 points in the next four days, okay? Now, remember, how you decide to buy, we know that some stocks are inexpensive, some stocks are more expensive. You can purchase calls. You can purchase puts if you're selling. You can uh, actually buy the stock. We're not here to tell you how to get involved. It's up to you. Remember, we're just sharing with you high probability setups for the trades. EW, okay, once again going sideways, but a valid strategy for setup has been generated. You confirm it with a pet D, and yes, it's outlined green. And remember, we don't care what the previous bars were colored. If they were all colored red or if they were all colored green, makes no difference. All we are concerned about is the bar that is above the arrow, and the stock went up 18 points in one week. Someone would have said, well, how did you know this was going to gap up? Did you guys follow the earnings or some news that were you privy to? No, once again, the market tells you just about everything you need to know. There's really no need to focus on that. As I stated earlier, I stopped looking at fundamental news and earnings and volume and overbought, oversold tools and support and resistance. I stopped looking at that four decades ago. And if it's worked for me, why shouldn't it be able to work for you? AGN, now once again, this was just about three weeks ago, a sell signal, a valid sell signal was generated. In order to get the confidence to take it, you would just simply click on the pet D and yes, it is colored red, so it's a valid dynamic duo sell setup. This was about three weeks ago and coming into this last week in June, the stock has fallen 23 points. Now the beauty of strategy four and the pet D is that if you often miss a good setup, if the trend is strong enough, don't worry, there will be more signals generated along the way. Even though you may not have captured 23 points, you still would have had a profit. All right, let's look at WP. Now, someone looking at this would say, Steve, this stock has already taken off. I can't get involved in this. But remember, we're just tracking whatever the stock wants to do. If the stock says it wants to go higher, who are we to say it's gone up too high? Remember, we're not concerned with overbought or oversold. I often tell my students, there is no such thing as overbought or oversold. Stocks, futures, commodities, currency pairs will go up as high as they want. They can also go down to zero. All right, anyone remember Enron? The stocks will go down to zero if they want. So it's silly to think something is going to stop because according to some tool or indicator, it's too high. Go back and, and look at some of the times you lost money when you sold or you bought and they just kept going and kept going. It's silly to try and and, and uh, predict what the market will do. We never try to predict. We only jump on board. We're just listening to the market, find out what it wants to do when we jump on board. That's our whole concept. All right, so we have seen that there should be buy setups right here. In fact, there were three, a total of three. This is what we call a cluster of buy signals. Now, at this point, if you're still not sure if you want to take the trade, you need a little more confidence, you would simply add the pet D, and you can see that each and every one of these bars that is above the buy arrow was outlined green. So this could give you the confidence to take the trade if you want to, any one of these, and gapped up 17 points, okay? Once again, we had no idea it was going to gap up, but the market just told us it wanted to go higher. If we look at uh, NUS here, it looks like it's starting to trend lower, but if we add some structure, we see we not only had a buy signal, but we had a sell signal. So which one would we have taken? Would we have taken both of these? All right, how do we trade and change our minds one day later? Well, remember, we need to use our translator in order to have a valid, highly consistent dynamic duo setup. Our translator is the pet D, and the pet D will verify whether we should have bought or whether we should have sold. So we add the pet D, and all buy signals need to be colored or outlined green. And what is the outline of this? It's red, so we would never have taken this trade. In order to have a valid sell signal, it should have been colored red, which it is. So the first trade was never taken. The second trade is the one you want to do. You want to go short uh, any way you want to. Buy puts, short the stock, it's up to you. And that would have been the wise choice. The stock fell 18 points in the next month. Okay, do you see how the pet D helped you there by weeding out the bad signal? Because not every strategy for a signal is going to be a winner. All right, we have two buy setups here just about a month ago in PSA, all right? Which one should we have taken? Well, we add the pet D, and we see the first one was outlined red. 
So we would not have taken that first one. Even though it was a good signal, we went up higher after that. That's okay. Remember, we just want to be in sync with the market. That's our only job. We're not trying to buy at the very low and sell at the very top. No one can do that on a consistent basis. I've been trading 42 years, and I can tell you that 99.9% .9 of the time, I never buy at the bottom or sell at the top. I just get a chunk of that nice move. That's how you'll be able to trade another day. That's the consistent you're looking for that will not give you a good month or maybe even a good year, but will give you a good decade or a good 20, 30, 40 years. That's what we're looking to instill in our members around the world. So we didn't care about missing that first one, but the second one has been verified because it's outlined green by the Pet D. So we would have purchased Pet uh, PSA at the beginning of May, 25 points coming into this first week in June. See how simple this is. There's nothing you need to do to overthink it. We look at triple L right here. A sell signal has been generated. Okay. Uh, you can purchase the puts if you wanted to, but in order to have that added consistency or that confidence in taking the trade, you would add the pet D. And yes, it was colored red. So that is the double confirmation. Strategy four, along with the pet D, gives you the dynamic duo. The stock fell 17 points. Now look at GH here. This is a perfect example of how not to trade with a purpose, all right? Someone looking at this, the first thing they'd say is, there's no reason to even be involved in this. This is a sideways, rangy market. And I've always been taught that if we're going sideways and we can't get through this level, there must be some resistance there. And obviously that's the institution selling. So I don't, who am I, a small account of 10 or $20,000 to be bucking against the institutions? So, you know, I'm going to uh, just wait and look for other things because uh, this is just a range market and it could go like this for a year, all right? Do you see how every justification I made for my decision in this was based off something else? The institutions, a range market, the earnings aren't coming out, let's say. This is how most traders trade without a purpose because if you're relying on someone or something else to give you the input to make the decision, that's not trading with a purpose. Remember, that's comparable to a brain surgeon asking uh, you know, his nurse or the, or the uh, assistants, what should I do? How do you think I should uh, operate here? That's silly. But unfortunately, that's the way millions and millions of traders trade on a daily basis. They go to a chat room, they look at the institutions, they look at some guy on TV, they wait for the earnings to tell them how to trade. That's not trading with a purpose. If you're trading with a purpose, you have a plan that is highly consistent, and then you also have a method that will weed out some of those losing trades. So according to our plan, there are buy signals being generated here. In fact, if we click on strategy four to confirm these signals, click on signal arrows in our process here, we actually have two signals, all right? now. If you want the confidence to take these, because we know that not every signal is going to uh, be guaranteed to work out, we want to click on the pet D and see that they're outlined or colored green. That's the process, and both of them work. So you could have taken both of these setups here. It would have been up to you. You could have purchased calls. You could have actually purchased the stock, whatever you want, because you're in control. Not me, not someone on TV, not some guy in a chat room, but you are in charge of your own trading. That's how you become consistent. Now, the first buy signal, you may have had to wait for a week or two, but you still wouldn't have lost any money using one of our many stop placements. You probably would have just still be in the trade. And if you wanted to double up, you could have done so with the next trade. Either way, the right thing to do would have been to go long because the stock gained 65 points in two months. Now, remember, we have no idea how high or how low something will go. In fact, that's not our purpose. We're not here to determine and to predict how high or low something goes. Sure, we have exit plans that will give you exit levels, but they're not predicting anything. They're just offering suggestions on where a good level would be to get out based off of, uh, of patterns. They're not predicting that this is where it will stop. And the beauty of the dynamic duo is if you happen to miss the best buys here, don't worry. If the trend is strong enough, it will generate more along the way. Don't you think you would have liked to take advantage of buying down here before this big run up? Now, a lot of traders say, Steve, this is great, but I'm a swing trader. I like to trade weekly bars. Other traders say, I like to trade intraday bars. Well, let me just share with you a weekly example. Is Netflix. There's an older chart going back to 2018. Okay. Someone's saying, well, Steve, we've already had a nice run here. I, I, I'm thinking about getting out. It's the market's kind of toppy. Well, 
If we click on strategy four, we would have seen with the signal arrows that there were actually a buy signal generated when you were thinking the market was topping out. And if we clicked on the pet D to verify that, we would have seen that it was a valid dynamic duo setup because it's outlined green. So where you would have been thinking the market's topping out, it's time to take profits, our students around the world would be saying, well, actually, this is a nice buy setup. This was in April 2018, and the stock, as you know, has been going up uh, just by that summer. It went up over 100 points. So that was a weekly chart. The same process. It makes absolutely no difference if you're trading weekly, daily, intraday, whatever market, commodities, Bitcoin, futures. I trade this using e-mini futures on roughly a five-minute or even a tick chart. chart. Okay, so let's recap before we go to the question and answer portion. Remember, you must trade with a purpose. Do a little soul searching right now and actually ask yourself, how do I make my trading decisions? If in any way you are relying on an outside source, whether it's some master system that you purchased for five, ten thousand dollars $10,000, that you have no idea how it works, you're just blindly taking the orders, or whether you watch the guys on TV every night to give you ideas or go to a chat room, that is not trading with a purpose. In order to trade with a purpose, you need a method or a strategy that is highly consistent. Now we have here as our most consistent method, strategy number four. But remember, consistency means that you are aware that there will be losses. Consistency does not mean that, well, this method hardly ever loses. No, that's not what it means. It means that you will have losses. So in order to uh, heighten your level of consistency, you need a tool that can kind of weed out and filter out some of those losses from time to time. Not guaranteed all of them because we know that's not possible, but you just try to weed out some of them. And that's the pet D. The pet D is simply a translator. It translates what the market wants to do on a tick by tick basis. If it's translating that the market wants to go higher and you have a sell signal generated by strategy number four, well then those two things are out of sync. So you should not take the trade. But when they are in sync, when a buy signal has been generated using the pattern recognition of strategy number four and the translator, the pet D confirms it with a green bar, well then you have what we call our dynamic duo. It's a synergy for consistency, for success. And lastly, there is a process, a way in which to learn how to apply this to your trading. We made it simple by constructing the PTS Primo charting plan. It's so simple just to click on strategy four to check your work, to click on the pet D, and then you, you have all the information there in a matter of seconds. So ask yourself, do you think these edges could have helped your trading this past year? Look at your trading. We're already six months into the year. Is it anywhere near where you thought it would be at the beginning of the year? So ask yourself, do you think these things could have helped you this past six months? How about the remainder of the year? Do you think they can help you going forward? Well, we want to thank each and every one of you for attending, taking time out of your Wednesday because we have a great attendee discount just for showing up today. We're going to offer you our Dynamic Duo special package. We're going to give you a great discount offer just for showing up today. Strategy number four along with the PET-D. You're going to get instant course access, detailed instruction. You're going to learn all the different entry points, exit points, and stop placement, all right? You'll also get the automatic buy and sell arrows. You get the complete course rules along with the PET-D, the add-on that changes the bars green or red, along with educational correspondence with yours truly. You'll get my personal email address where you can contact me whenever you'd like with questions, okay? But we're not going to stop there. We're not only going to throw in with this great offer, the uh, dynamic duo, we're also going to throw in a full year of the PTS Primo charting platform. This is all the uh, displays and all the examples you saw today were constructed using our platform. So if you thought it was simple to apply in today's presentation, you're going to get a full year's use of this. Now, a full year would run closely $1,800. But guess what? We're not going to charge you that. We're not even going to charge you anything. We're going to throw in 12 months completely free. All right. Now, you're going to get so much more with our platform. You're not going to just get the dynamic duo because obviously you'll it'll come with a strategy number four up and down uh, arrows along with the pet D trend identifier. But you're also going to get our proprietary exit levels. This is just one of our many different exit points. These are just exit levels that you can have automatically on your screen. For example, here, the proprietary exit levels are something that are just a click away. As we look here in this example in EW, which we talked about earlier, someone would say, well, gosh, Steve, how would I know where to exit? I'm, okay, you've told me where to get in, but where do I get out? Well, remember, once again, we have about six or seven different exit plans. But if you decided to use this particular plan, you would simply click on strategy four. 
And in the drop down menu, remember we're clicking on signal arrows. Here's one of our exits. It's called range extension exits. All right. It's a formula to calculate the exits uh, on the specific setup bar. Now, these are all the different levels you could have chosen. Now, a lot of our students, if they're the type of trader that wants to be in and out quickly, will exit at the first range. A lot of our students like to base their uh, trades based off of uh, risk reward ratio. So basically, if you decided to exit at the second exit level, you would have a two to one risk reward, a three to one and a four to one, the final exit point. Had you used that exit level, well, you would have exited there in just about a week, gained potentially 18 points. But ultimately, it's up to you. We're not telling you to exit at a certain level. We're giving you the information, okay? You know, we, we're teaching you how, let's say you wanted to learn how to golf, but we're instructing you how all the different ways in which to golf, but we can't go out and play for you. You've got to do that. That's how you become consistent. Now, on top of that, we're also giving you 90 of the most prominent technical indicators so you can add to your trading plans, but we're also including, which I feel is worth its weight in gold, our signal scanner. This is something I use, I love. We specifically made it simple to apply. On the same drop-down menu, it just simply click on signal scanner at the very bottom, and you'll see this window up here next to your chart. All right, as you can see, it says strategy number four, scan. All you have to do is click on load symbols and then whatever symbol list you're interested in, whether it's uh, currency pairs, stocks, ETFs, NASDAQ, S&P, currency pairs, futures, whatever you want, it comes down automatically in the, uh, the symbol list. Now all you have to do is click on scan and in about 30 seconds, you'll see a series of green and red horizontal bars. The green bars mean those are buy signals with the corresponding stock. The red ones mean a sell signal. So you can do this on a nightly basis and know what the best setups are for strategy number four. Then all you have to do is click on the pet D to see if they meet the dynamic dual requirements. For example, if you would have scanned Hunt a while back, you would have seen that, well, gosh, I can't do anything in this stock. It looks like it's going sideways, but it would have generated a buy signal. OK, now. If you were interested in this, maybe you were following or maybe you thought, you know what? I kind of like this stock. I've been thinking about it for a while. In order to give you more confidence, you simply click on the pet D. And as you can see, the bar is outlined green. In fact, the previous bars were all red. But remember, we're not interested in those bars. We're only interested in this. Now, remember, we're not concerned with how you want to enter. You could have purchased the stock. You could have bought calls. It's entirely up to you. But that would have been a wise choice to follow this scan, to scan for Hunt, and also to apply the dynamic duo structure because as you can see here, the very next day, the stock rose 70 points, okay? Now, is there any way we knew that it was going to rise 70 points? Absolutely not. We had no idea. We just knew that according to strategy four, it told us it wanted to go higher according to the pattern. And according to the pet D, it was confirmed. The pet D was saying, yes, the short-term trend, it wants to go higher. So that's all you needed to know. There's absolutely no reason to overcomplicate your trading. In my opinion, overcomplicating your trading is what kills most traders from becoming successful because they have too many things to look at, too many requirements that need to be met. Trading is really simple. It's the trader himself or herself that makes it more complicated than it has to be. Lastly, we know that we have a technician's bias. We know that we look at a lot of charts and, and uh, technical news and information. But if you are a fundamental trader, it's not our job to tell you how not to trade. We're just trying to steer you in the right direction. If you feel you need fundamental news and information and earnings reports to uh, get you on your way, well, then who are we to stop you? So we've added free Bloomberg TV. So we have a media icon page that all you have to do is click on the media page icon and you have a window appear on the charts that will give you free Bloomberg TV. So if you're interested in earnings or any economic report, you'll see it as it's happening live, okay? And lastly, the uh, PTS Primo charting platform comes with great personalized tech support. If ever there's any issue you're uh, seeing, you can't uh, open up a chart or maybe you don't know how to apply a certain uh, technique, our tech support will be there to resolve the issue immediately, okay? This is all included with the one year use of this, okay? So let's break down this dynamic dual combo, okay? This is gonna give you the dynamic duo of the um, strategy four along with the pet D along with 12 months of the PTS platform. All right. If you purchase this separately, if you purchase strategy four separately, it costs you close to $700. If you purchase the pet D separately, it costs you close to 3000. 
Now, let me, just to let you know that most likely these prices will be higher by the end of the year as well. And if you purchase one year of the platform, it would cost you close to $1,800, okay? So ultimately, if you didn't have this offer today, you would most likely be spending over $5,400, close to $5,500, all right? That's too much to ask for you. We want to slash that by 40, 45%. We're only going to charge you for this great offer, for a limited time only though, $29.95, which includes the free year of the platform. Now also included with that is payment plan. So if $29.95 is still too much for you to come up with, don't worry. You can contact Pro Trader Strategies and they can work a payment plan for you. So for a small deposit, you can still be up and running with the Dynamic Duo, Strategy 4, the Pet D, along with a full year of the platform. So this is a tremendous offer. We've slashed it just about 40 or 45%. Here's how to take advantage of this. Now I it, uh, designed and uh, constructed all of this with Pro Trader Strategies. They're my sister site. So they are the ones that are in charge of all the courses, uh, the discounts, the pricing, along with the tech support. So I would suggest if you're interested in a payment plan, calling them directly. There's absolutely no obligation. They won't try to sell you anything. They'll just answer your questions about discounts or about structuring a payment plan. And they have trading consultants manning the phones right now. I would really strongly suggest calling them at 310-598-6677, okay? And just tell them that Steve suggested that I call them for more questions concerning pricing and discounts because that's out of my realm. I'm just strictly in charge of teaching and trading they're in charge of tech support and of pricing and discount. And they would be happy to work with you. And once again, there's absolutely no obligation. Now, if you're interested in becoming a course member of mine, that link you see at the very bottom is the link that takes you to the sign-up page or more information. And if you look in the chat box on the far right-hand corner, a link has just been posted. That is a live link, okay? That link at the bottom of the screen there is not live. But in the chat box, there is a live link. So that's the link you want to click on to give you more information. Now, this great offer is good for a limited time only. So even though you're going to be, I know many of you will say, well, I want to watch this again. I'll wait till I get the link to this recording and then I'll watch it. That's fine. We want you to do that. We want you to try and fully understand this process. But if you sit on it too late, like two or three weeks, and then call one of the trading consultants and ask for this offer again, it may be dead. We may be thinking about something else and the full price may be closer to $5,500 again. So. Really, if you're serious about taking your trading to the next level for the remainder of this year, I would seriously contact Pro Trader Strategies, okay? Now, as I stated earlier, uh, I will reserve the last portion for any questions. So if you go to your question and answer box and the go to uh, uh, webinar column on the right, just simply click in and uh, type in any uh, question you have for me and I will answer it to the best of my ability, okay? All right, I see a couple of questions here. Uh, how often does your dynamic duo fail and result in a loss? Well, uh, first of all, Thurston, in order to do that, we would have to, once again, have to have statistics on virtually every market, every time frame, every way in which it's applied. The, the, remember, we are an educational company. It's not our job to give statistics. We don't, in fact, we don't believe in statistics. I often mention in my classes that I have traded as well as taught systems in the past where systems uh, produce statistics and win-loss ratios because they're traded the exact same way every time. That's the only way you can come up with statistics. But that goes against our philosophy. We don't want everyone to trade the same way. Remember, if you are in charge of your own trading, in other words, if you are making your own decisions, not me, you may decide to use one of the many different entry points that's different from someone else. You also may decide to use one of the several exit points. You also may decide to use one of the different stop placements. So two traders looking at the very same setup can get entirely different results. One may uh, you know, potentially make 20 points. The same uh, signal can maybe for another trader have them break even because they decided to trade it a different way. So there's no way and we don't even encourage statistics with any of our information. And by the fact, I, I made mention uh, to the fact that I had taught and traded systems in the past, and guess what? Each of those systems came with tremendous back-tested results, some going back 10 years with 80 90% win-loss ratio. And guess what? Each and every one of those systems uh, blew up. They lost everything. When the market changed, when the market environment changed, they ceased working. So that's why we don't believe nor do we trade system. That's why if we don't believe in trading systems, there are no statistics. 
everyone should trade differently. No two traders should trade alike. So that's why we cannot, uh, unfortunately, cannot make it systematized for you. Okay, I apologize, but that's just our our, uh, our policy. Uh, Michael, hello, Michael says, as a new student, would you like to uh, shout out to Joe? You would like to shout out to Joe Straders for the great continued product support. Oh, thank you, Michael. Sure. I was going to say, Michael's a new student of ours, and he just wants to say thank you to Joe. I guess uh, Joe was your trading consultant at Pro Trader Strategies. And this is just what we're saying here. Uh, Pro Trader Strategies is in charge of the customer support and as well as the uh, uh, discounts and pricing. And so uh, Michael has a really good experience with one of our best sales guys, Joe. And so that's great. He just wants to say thank you and shout out to them because we do want to make things easy for you so that you, you know, feel comfortable trading. OK. Uh, Thorsten asking, how do you know your method will not fail in the future? No one knows that, but but there's no way you will know it will fail with a system either. Remember, I traded systems that had 10, some had even 20 years back tested results that were fantastic. And the the great uh, you know, uh, truth is that no one knows even if there's back testing if that will work. That's why every trader, every webinar has to have a disclaimer, because if statistics and back tested were so verified and you were so confident, why would you have to have a disclaimer? Okay, so that is just your clue that even with statistics, even with back tests, nothing is guaranteed to work. So if nothing is guaranteed to work, why even concern yourself with uh, back-tested numbers? Because there's no guarantee that's going to work either. Remember, I've traded upwards of 10 different systems in my career. Every one of them failed. And when I mean fail, I mean they went really in the gutter. They lost everything. OK, so, you know, I'm happy to say if you want to do a, uh, a search on the Internet for some of our uh, uh, traders around the world or some of our students who have took our courses, you will see that there are a lot of happy customers. We have students in over 115 countries and in every state in the United States. So if they were losing that much, I don't think we'd have that many traders. But it's up to you. Remember, you have to take a leap of faith when trading. The, the good news is you attended this webinar. You didn't have to spend any money. So you can decide if you're interested or not. There's no way we are in any way trying to force you to, to take this. So that's the beauty of this. We didn't have you come to a... Uh, a $500 seminar, and in order to find out, you had to spend $20,000. We don't believe in that, but a lot of a lot of uh, you know uh, webinars or seminars will do that. We always like to share with you information and let you make your own decision without costing you any money. Okay. So uh, people are asking, what is the cost after the first year? Well, remember, once you own the Pet D and the Dynamic Duo uh, setup, you, there will be no more costs after that because you own that uh, outright. The only cost will be for the platform. And once again, that is something you can negotiate. I, I believe the basic cost is $97 per year. But since you're, you're uh, you know, a customer, I'm sure Pro Trader Strategies will be happy to work for you, knowing that you purchased the Dynamic Duo course and then you already had the platform for a year. They may give you a great discount. You know, we're, we're here to educate you. And we're not here... Uh, as you can see with the education and with you see with the, the discount to here to, to you know sell you a ten thousand dollar system and say good luck with it uh, you know uh, we hope it works we really want to educate you to, so that you become a, a better trader so that you can be trading not just have a good year but you can have a good decade it's not based on any statistics if you came here looking for statistics or looking for me to tell you what to buy or sell you've come to the wrong place because in my four decades of trading that is what makes traders fail but what makes traders consistent for decades is by being in charge, by having sound fundamental information, and then being taught how to use it correctly, and then letting you make your own decision. So that's what we do. If you want to be in charge of your own trading, you've come to the right place. But if you want to have someone trade for you, that's not what we do here. We do not make uh, you know, systems where we have statistics, and all you have to do is just blindly take them. We, we, it goes entirely against our philosophy, OK? So remember, once again, as your mentor, I do not want you to, you know, uh, blindly jump into anything. So if you have questions about pricing or about anything, simply contact Pro Trader Strategies. They would be more than happy to work with you and to answer any question concerning the platform, concerning discounts, and concerning pricing after the full year. Okay. So we really want to help you. You can see our sincerity in wanting to make you a much better trader. If you're not interested, that's fine. We're not going to force anyone. It, you know, it's not in our interest to force you to, to trade a certain way because we don't believe in that. 
So we're really trying to make you better traders. If this seems in any way a simple, easy way to really get yourself out of the doldrums and back on track in your trading, then we'd be happy to work with you and I would be happy to be your mentor, okay? Take it from someone who has been trading this for over four decades. It's worked for me and I would be happy to teach you all of these things that helped me the same way, okay? As we conclude here, I just want to say thank you so much. I hope you got something out of this and saw that there really is consistency, that you really can become a better trader. And the best thing we're trying to do here is simply to educate you. So as you take one last look at our disclaimer, remember, I really hope that you give Pro Trader Strategies a call. And I look forward to all of you becoming students of the Dynamic Duo course, but most especially students of mine. I would love to be your mentor. Thank you so much for attending today. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.